Iti mangai o te whare. What I find interesting is that in this general debate, I would have thought that the other side would have used this as an opportunity to do uh, their speeches for the leadership campaign, and I'm surprised actually that they didn't. Um, while they are trying to find somebody who can match the very popular Jacinda Ardern, our current Prime Minister. They are trying to find somebody with youth. They are trying to find somebody who can appeal to a different generation. And we have seen these tweets and these reports and updates coming through. What I challenge the other side to do, Mr Speaker, is to find a leader who has as much heart as our Prime Minister has. We are a government with heart versus the opposition, where I am still disturbed by some of the comments I heard in the debate yesterday on the bill for the reduction of child poverty. Comments like, this will do nothing to change the outcomes, made by uh, the Honourable Paula Bennett. This will do nothing for child poverty. This will not change the status quo. I heard uh, quotes, for example, like that children, uh, that our children are in poverty because their parents make bad decisions, blaming it on their parents for spending money on alcohol, uh, that there are parents and there are families who don't want free lunches or the raincoats that are being offered. The challenges thrown out from the other side for us to go to Kaikohe and to see some of the great work that the other side were doing, I heard blame, I heard denial, I heard personal responsibility arguments being given, I heard about economic growth being the solution to all of our problems. Well, what we saw today, Mr Speaker, was a report released by the Salvation Army on the state of our nation. And what does that report say? We've had a 12 per cent increase in families needing food parcels. It highlights the real-life impacts of a decade of management that left too many people behind. Nine years of neglect. We also received another report uh, this week on the stock take of New Zealand's housing, and the housing crisis is worse than we even knew it to be. This is a government that was uh, the, the previous government that had no heart. They denied there was a housing crisis. They denied that child poverty was an issue. Well, our government is not prepared to tolerate this, and we are going to do something about it. And in the first 100 days of being in government, we have already done a significant amount of things to address these issues. But that is not it. We have got a lot more work to do, and we are absolutely committed to doing that work. We heard, actually, that on um, the birthday of one of the members who spoke earlier, she marched about charter schools. Well, I'm proud to say that on my birthday, the Honourable Grant Robertson introduced the Families Package. Yeah, yeah. That Families Package will benefit over 385,000 families. We introduced the Best Start payment. That is going to be a benefit to the more than 65,000 babies that are born every year in this country extending working for families, reinstating the independent earner tax credit, increasing the accommodation supplement, the accommodation benefit, a winter energy payment that will benefit approximately one million people, and life-saving legislation, Mr Speaker, in the passing of the Healthy Homes Guarantee Bill. That is life-saving legislation that is going to make a huge difference to the people that live in my region in Northland who are suffering from respiratory illnesses that are caused by cold, damp housing. Our priorities, our focus is to put children and to put people back at the heart of everything that we do. And I was proud of our Prime Minister when she stood on my marae at Te Whare Runanga at Waitangi Day saying and challenging, making the statement that she wants to be judged by her actions, she wants to earn the right to stand on the maho of that whare and to speak. And she is saying to all those that come to Waitangi next year to judge her on what we deliver. 
We are a government who wants to be held accountable. We are prepared to put what we want to do and aim to do into legislation so we can be measured against that. We have achieved a lot in the first 100 days, but there is a lot more to come. Kia ora.